hello YouTubers, this is going to be my doom and gloom report. I'm going to start something new here online. I've seen Bob, he has reports and stuff, but this is going to be called the doom and gloom report. And I just want to talk about the times, uh, what's going on now. I said the other day that I'm 50-50 on the, the uh, pre-tribulation rapture. Now the reason being is because I think it's a perpetrated lies by Judeo-Christians, you know, and the majority do it. And like, you know, the Bible says there'll be many false prophets to come here before you. I mean, you know, really, what kind of God would that be? We're all born of sin, right? And He died for our sins, you know. So, you know, purpose for us to have life, you know, or free will and free choice. What kind of God would that be, you know, if He allowed you to uh, say, oh, the selected few are going to be raptured while the left are going to be left behind? I mean, the thing is, is people have to keep strength and relations between themselves in these tough times right there. And, you know, the true fact is, you know, um, you have the Illuminati and all these other organizations, but, you know, I was going to say, uh, you have... Uh, 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 the, the reason why I believe that there is no going to be no pre-tribulation rapture is you know how in the Bible it says with the mark of the beast many people will worship it and follow it and be deceived well it makes sense to me that God would come back during and after there would be like a a, 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 a post-tribulation rapture as opposed to a pre because you know if you had a post-tribulation rapture it makes more sense because people would be more likely to take the beast because if this guy appears and says he's God people would probably follow him and there would probably be like a small percent, maybe like 5 to 10 percent, who would probably die for Christ, supposedly, or else flee to the hills like Prodigal City, you know, and stuff. And uh, the thing of it is, is, you know, that's the, what I really believe, because I don't think God is like that, you know, because that would be preferential treatment. And you know how preferential treatment is here on earth. It's very unfair to, uh, to certain groups of people, you know, that one group is treated a certain way and done another. And the thing is, is God's like a judge, you know, when you go to court, you know, um, when you have to come before him one day, one day before the Lord, which everybody's going to have to do eventually, when you come before him, you're going to be judged on all your sins. And basically, you know, you're either going to go to heaven or hell, you know, is the thing. And it's pretty much determined by your destiny, I believe. You know, it's kind of like karma. But uh, what I just wanted to get into is I wanted to talk about a few things. So I'm going to start reading articles in my next few, but this is my first doom and gloom report. Kind of an introductory video to, to certain topics I'm talking about. But, I wanted to talk to you about this weekend and how the Illuminati uh, works and stuff. You know, the 666 was the other day, of course, and they were talking about cigarettes and they were talking about Homeland Security. Again, I saw a report where they're talking about airports now in the future. They're going to have some kind of scanner when you go in there. You have to put your body through and it pretty much shows everything in the future at order to board a plane. Plus, they charge $15, too. And, you know, I was watching the price of oil, too, that day on f Friday, which was the 6th. And, of course, you know, 666 was a few years ago. And it was like a day before Kennedy was assassinated. Of course, Ronald Reagan died on that day, too. And, you know, the Omen was released. All kinds of stuff, you know, D-Day also. But I just was going to say, they purposely uh, hijacked, you know, jacked the gas, the gas prices up pretty much to, like, you know over four dollars significantly on that date because that's how the satanic group works the illuminati which is run by jewish elite and jewish zygist and uh, i was just going to say that's why they raised the price up to like four dollars a gallon 4.15 a gallon but you know i also wanted to talk about uh the cigarettes too they said that they were arresting people for buying them on the black market well i don't blame some people because you know it's the same you know uh, unconstitutional taxes on cigarettes, seven dollars, eight dollars. Yeah, it's okay for the government to do it, but if you do it, then they make you out like you're some kind of criminal. And you know, I just wanted to say that uh, um, uh, eventually, though, with the market of beast too, it might be a good idea now. You know, for some people, uh, you know, even if if you wanted to sell it for people who who might be left behind, if there is possibly a pre-tribulation rapture, which I don't think so, but it, it could be a good idea for people to start having black market chips, I mean, like, you know, hooking them to a database, because, I mean, this is really, really bad stuff uh, that they're trying to do, and either way, you know, it, they can do whatever they want to me, or anybody else who's a Christian, I mean, because it doesn't matter, because, you know, you heard about the concentration camps and all, you know, down in New Orleans, I'm not afraid to die for God, because we're the true holders of the faith, and I mean, you know, I don't care, you know, if I end up escaping, you know, into the hills, fleeing to the hills, that's also okay too but uh, I was also uh, wanted to talk to you too about this weekend uh, I saw a report on Saturday people now are starting to protest just like I said in the end times brother would be rising up against brother nation against nation tribe against tribe there would be various earthquakes famines and droughts throughout the nation and eventually every king tribe ton of nation will bow down to Jesus but first of all there has to be violence to pass this uh, people now in Belgium and Spain are rebelling against their government for having like nine dollar gas overseas and I mean no you can't blame them you know it's the problem with this country you know I don't I don't believe in violence but you know I think what people I urge anybody who's 
even in the police force too these days who uh, is a Christian who believes in God, you know, I think they should go down to D.C. and stuff and all these other people. And we should demand that the president be impeached and we should demand that all Congress members be impeached because this thing is run by a bunch of Jewish elite Zionists. And I know there's cops out there too who believe in the same thing. There's nothing wrong. Look at civil rights, I mean, years ago, you know, uh, the blacks and all kinds of different races being discriminated against. You know, Martin Luther King, a great man of God, you know, unfortunately he was assassinated, but you know, one of the best men of all time, you know, you gotta fight for your rights, you know, too, and, and people got rights too, we're not a bunch of slaves, and you know, I don't believe in like those people doing like throwing tear gas and mace at police, I don't believe in doing that, but I think, you know, if you had a nice uh, little rebellion, and you had if, even police leading the rebellion, and you, had, and you went in there nice and peaceful, I think it would be nice, because there's been petitions all over the country signed, where the president gets impeached and then Shirtoff getting deported, you know. And even this tomato thing, too, I wanted to talk to you about, too. The FDA having more power. I mean, I have to tell you, though, these tomatoes, I was listening to Michael Savage the other night. These tomatoes were sold in Mexico. And uh, what I was going to say is uh, a lot of them is from Mexico, the production of it. And, of course, their water isn't good from third world countries. That's what you get when you support NAFTA, though. That's the problem with our Congress outsourcing American jobs, you know. You get food contamination back here at home, you know. And uh, it's really scary, you know, because if there starts coming a shortage of food and stuff, then people are going to be dying and running the hill. So I would just urge for now everybody to probably have a good uh, supply of water, which we have here with Poland Springs, a lot of canned and perishable food. I would urge people also to buy, like, a cooking grill, which is good to have, like, for camping. Have a camping bag and even a tent or, like, an RV. That could be possibly a good thing to have here heading into these tough, tough times and also a bike or whatever. But... I was also going to say, uh, I was watching the news and uh, there's a lot of bad stuff. Uh, taxes I heard on gas too, this was Sunday I watched it. 75% of tax in England, of course that's where the Illuminati's core base is. I've heard this before a lot on the uh, on Satan's Rapture.com and a lot of religious sites. Their head bases is in England, of course, and uh, I was going to say, these people, 75% gas tax, if it wasn't for that, gas would be 230 and they're doing the same thing here in America now, these environmentalists who use education the environment and energy to push you to your agenda, these green elitists. And from now on, I've stopped pretty much buying all this green stuff, like the sun chips over at Subway and stuff, anything that has a green label. Because when you give them their money, all they do is the Illuminati and these college students and stuff, these uh, little good goody two shoes, all they do is they use your money to push through their plan. And ben it's backed by Benjamin Cream and Sheer International and the One World Order, what they're trying to push. But I was going to say, you know, this this stuff is really, really bad. And uh, I wouldn't support it in a heartbeat. What it does is it taxes people to death just like old Rome and Babylon, you know, is prophesized in the Bible. But um, I also wanted to talk to, because uh, that's why gas here is so expensive now for us. I also wanted to talk about something I saw today online. Uh, of course, you know, New York State, uh, we were the first state or whatever now that has a so-called internet sales tax when you buy stuff so the state can make more money and still. But I also heard about the tolls, too, I told you about. On 80 from Jersey to Pennsylvania, supposedly, and I put a 35-cent toll on the interstate so the state can get more money and enslave you, ultimately. That's why they have easy pass and stuff, you know. I want you to take the mark eventually. And uh, another thing that I wanted to bring up, though, too quickly, as I saw a report today online now, Child pornography is illegal, and anybody who looks at it should be arrested. But you know what they're trying to do now? They're trying to censor everything on the internet now. And you watch, the next thing they're going to attack us, people who are Christians, like the fundamental people, they're going to attack us and try to censor the truth because that's how this organization works, this elite organization. So um, I thought I'd get this video out to you. I hope it's informative to you. And remember, at all costs, because it's coming very soon, and they delayed it to May 2009. Do not take the mark of the beast, because if you take the mark of the beast, you're damned and you're going to go to hell, and you're going to drink with the wrath in, in, in the presence of the holy angels in the land. Because if you take this mark of the beast, you're going to be with these people like George Bush, Michael Sheertoff, all these legislators, Time Warner, AOL. You're going to be on all these people who are judgmental, who are causing the problems, all the CEOs in the oil industry and the Illuminati, all these satanic people. You're going to be in hell and you're going to drink in front of the holy angels in the presence of the Lamb. So I'm urging everybody, it's about free will pretty much. And we're all sinners, disgusting creatures who make mistakes. And I urge everybody, you know, just not to take the mark of the beast. Because if you are, you'll burn in hell forever. So just believe in God and put all your might to Because the times ahead are going to be tough. So hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to start having articles on a doom and gloom report. Try to make the videos shorter, about five to six minutes in the future. Just kind of an introductory video. So I hope you enjoyed and bye.